Hey guys, my name is Hector and welcome back to Hector's Dirty Roots. You saw the title of today's video, you know what we're doing. We're going to open up my cage for the caterpillars as well as take a look at the caterpillars that we have today. I'm really excited. This is the first time I actually have caterpillars where I'm able to see them crystallize and become butterflies. So I'm really excited for this. Uh, I have never done this before and it's something I've always wanted to do but never had the chance to do. So I'm again really excited for this. Uh, so these are the caterpillars I received today. These are the Painted Lady uh, Butterfly Caterpillars. I hope you can see them. You might not be able to because of the lights. But I received six caterpillars. The option said you can receive between five and seven. I received right in the middle at six. So I'm really excited about that, that I didn't receive like the minimum amount. I got like right in the middle. Again, I'm, super, I'm really excited about this. And then the cage that I got was something that I saw was really popular on Amazon. This is the Wildlife Habitats Butterfly Farm Live Habitat. This was one of the top rated uh, habitats for butterflies on Amazon. They also have like the flimsy ones which are a little cheaper. I believe this was like $20. They had the flimsy ones which are $5 which are the ones you just pop up and down. I wanted something that's going to last me a little longer just in case if I do decide to do this next year. I have something that's more high quality so I can just you know take it apart and put it back in the box for next year versus something that's going to be really flimsy which won't last as long which is the main reason why I got this one and this one comes with a lot of stuff inside so I'm going to go through some of the stuff that the kit says it has so it says we have a magnifying glass a handle to hold it up we have a chamber for the actual transformation of the caterpillars which is pretty cool a dome shaped net a dome frame, the base, a base cap with sponge pad and printed seams. So I'm guessing this is going to be the sponge pad and then that's the scene it's talking about where the sponge pad is going to be. We get an educational poster, so I'm excited to see that. Uh, we get the instruction sheet, the decoration vine, and a postcard. And then it also has for you to get butterfly uh, caterpillars delivered to you has like a coupon inside so that's gonna be pretty cool just if i do want to get them maybe next year or something like that so let's get started and open this thing up okay let's see now we know what side to open it oh okay so this is, the, oh, this is nice. This is the base with the print that it was talking about. That's pretty cute. I like that. It's like a little foresty, like moss. It looks so cute. I like it. That's the base. Okay. And then these. Okay, this is the sponge. So I believe caterpillars, once they become butterflies, you feed them sugar water. I believe that's what you feed them uh, while they're... Maybe this doesn't go here? Oh, on the bottom. So yeah, I believe while they're become once they become butterflies, you feed them sugar water. And I'm guessing this is where they're going to drink because they have like the long uh thing that they like stick inside you know like a kind of like a what's it called mosquito kind of like that thing yeah uh so that's exciting okay this is the uh handle that i was talking about okay and this is the transformation chamber i'm assuming this goes connected to this somehow i should read instructions Okay, uh, <laughs> let's continue going. So the next thing I got in here is the magnifying glass, the, uh, what do you call this, the vine that it came with, as well as the net. Then the instructions. Okay, so we have our coupon for 
a caterpillar. So you get good one. Wait. Uh, good for one live caterpillar cat includes five painted lady caterpillars with food inside, which is pretty much what I got here. So I have a coupon for that. That's pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm going to, I guess I'm going to order some more. Okay. So then we have the instructions as well as I, this is what I'm excited for the, the poster. Oh my God. This is so fun. Okay. So let's take a look at the poster. So we have egg, larva, pupa, and an adult. Okay, so the pupa. So that's when you, when we get to the pupa, which is here, is when we're gonna put them inside of the cage or uh, habitat, is that when they call it. So we have to wait to that before we can move it inside. So let's build this thing. Okay. I might have to move you guys down just a little bit, just so you guys can see what's going on. Maybe I'll do that. So I moved you guys down so you guys cannot see me, sorry about that. But we're gonna build it kind of fast because you guys are overheating. I see the little overheating symbol. So we have to do this kind of fast. Okay, instructions. Let's build this cage. So we build it around this. Am I doing this right? Probably not. Oh, is it this way? No, it's this way. You guys can see. So we're just popping these things inside. I really hope I can finish this video before my camera overheats and turns off on me. Okay, so this is cool. Okay, but then we're gonna pop this inside here like this. Then these. Oh, it's labeled A and B. Oh, is it labeled? Maybe it's not. It's supposed to be labeled A and B, so I'm guessing the small ones go up here. Wait. I'm so confused. Down here. Oh, maybe it goes on this side. Oh, it does go on this side. Oh, it has specific spots it goes in. Uh, this is cool. I'm excited. Um, this way. Okay. So once you clip, they like interlock. So when you clip it in, you see how this goes like that. And this one would lock like that on top of it. So it's pretty, pretty cool how it's made. It's more qu high quality than I thought it was going to be actually. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. Oh my god, that's it, we built it. That's amazing. Oh my god, look how cute it is. I'm so excited. Okay, then it says to put the net on it. So I'm gonna take the net, put the net on it. I'm a little confused because we haven't put the, oh, we're supposed to put that first. We're supposed to put the vine first. I was like, how are we gonna put the vine if we put the net? I'm also really trying to do this 
really fast because we have two issues. My camera is on the overheating thing as well as my camera is about to die. So we are having two struggles right now. Okay, so let's put this. Okay, so as you guys can tell, you guys died and we are back. So I finished building it. I put the vine across. I put the net on. And then this is where you... So if you order the caterpillars that it comes with, it actually comes with the container that fits inside of here that you're supposed to put it. But since I didn't order the... Oh, since I didn't order the caterpillars from this company, it, the one that I have doesn't fit inside of here. So that kind of sucks, but it's fine. I was waiting to take it big enough and I can uh, put them inside of here once they crystallize or uh, pupate. But this is it. This is the kit. I, and then under here, you, go, you take this off. You turn it. Oh, I can't do it now. Oh, so you turn it and then you fill this with the beverage that you put with it. I believe it's sugar water, but I have to look it up. And then you put it back like that. This is cute. Look at it. Wait, I don't. This only thing I'm worried about is that it doesn't really stay. Oh, it does. I think it's so cute. Look at it. I couldn't really get this vine. The vine is kind of small. Um, for this thing. Like it doesn't stay. So I'm going to have to figure something out to get this vine to stay. Or something. I don't know. But it's not really staying for me. I tried to like mix up the places I put it. So it like goes one up, one down, one up, one down. Just to give it some variety. But I don't think it's... Oh, I'm missing a spot. I don't think it's going to work. Okay, let me try it. Let me take it all down. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to knot the corner here. And then put it. So that way that one corner stays. Then I'm gonna go across. No, um, I'll go up. It doesn't really tell you how you should put it. It just says to put it, but I go up one, down one, up one, down one. I think that should work. See, but it doesn't stay. I don't want to knot each one either. Okay, that's cute. That works. I mean, let me tie the. I just want to tie the ends, just so the end ones stay. Okay, now I'm gonna put this back under. And then this thing is so tight. The first time I couldn't get it. Because it kept snapping back. See? <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. This is the butterfly habitat. I like it a lot. I really wish that I would have got uh, the container that would fit inside here to make it easier. But it's fine. This is what it's going to do. And then I got the magnifying glass. Then I also have the cold, which I hope you guys didn't see, so you guys are not still in my caterpillars. But yeah, I'm so excited. I guess I can put this... Oh my god, does it fit here? <gasps> oh, does it say that here? Oh, it does. It, it goes on top. That's so cool. Okay, I, I love that. Okay, so that's my caterpillars. I'll check in with you guys once they do get bigger. I'll keep you guys updated. You can also check out my Instagram. It's... Uh, Hector's Dirty Roots uh, to check out if you want to see 
them grow bigger when they uh, turn into pupae or they, when they pupate. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, so I just want to check in with you guys real quick because I had mentioned that I couldn't fit the uh, caterpillar container inside of the actual habitat, but I did do something. So I actually took the food out of the other container I put inside here and I actually moved the caterpillars inside of here just so I can have everything together. You can kind of see them. Maybe not really, but I'm so excited. So I just have everything. Let me clip it back on. And I just have, oh, let me move it. This magnifying glass. So I just have everything together. I just think this is so cute like this without having the extra container just so everything is together. Ah, oh, so much better.